we play Top It with number cards because it helps us learn how to compare numbers. You can play Top It with number cards just by using regular playing cards. You take out all the letter cards and just have all the number cards left. We are playing two decks of number cards, a blue deck and a red deck. You take all the cards, place them face down, give half to one person and another half. Now, what do we do first? One player flips over two cards. Seven. Seven. So he says the first number in his head, and he counts on the second number to get the total of the two cards. And then the second player goes. Five, six, seven. Then they compare which, um, which person has the greatest amount. Eleven is more than seven. And what do you do? The person with the greatest amount captures both sets of cards and places them face up next to their face down pile. Three. Mm -hmm. Four, five, six. Good job. Your turn, which is mine. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so who has the who has more? You got eleven again. <laughs> eleven is more than Help them up, say your number. Say your total. Six. Good job. And how do we know when the game is done? When when we when we finish all the cards. What do you say to each other at the end of a game? Good game. <laughs>
if you had a two, where would you put it? Ten. So you're saying the biggest number goes in the biggest digit possible, and the lowest number goes in the lowest digit possible. Yes. Okay, so let's finish the game, see who will win. And what do you have? 98,445. So who has the bigger number? Me. <laughs> so it looks like you won. So you won because you have three nines and I have two nines and one eight. So read us your number, Mario. What do you have? I have nine nine. Thousand then eight hundred then eighty nine. And I have ninety nine thousand nine hundred and eighty nine. And that figures out that I win so I get all the cards. So that's like how you play the game. Entonces, ¿cómo se juega este juego? Well, I roll the dice, and let's say I rolled a two and a one, so I... Okay, lo que hago primero es tiro los dados, y si agarro un dos o un uno... Then I go over two, up one, and do a little circle right there. Y entonces lo que tenemos que hacer es ir a la derecha dos posiciones y arriba una posición. In fifth grade, we play division dash because it helps us learn division facts. En grado quinto, jugamos división dash porque nos ayuda a aprender datos de división. You get a card, get a de deck of cards, and place them face down on your table. Then you take out cards ten and above. Las primero sacan las cartas de de la bolsa y ponen y las mezclan para hacer los números. Next, next, you make a scoreboard and put quotient and score. And luego sacan una, un papel y un lápiz y hacen, y hacen el papel a, a ver cuántos puntos tienen unos. Turn over three cards from the deck and lay them down in a row from left to right. Use three cards to create a division problem. Cuando terminan de eso, agarran las cartas y que ya estén mezcladas, agarran, agarran tres the two cards on the left form a two-digit number that is divided. The number on the card at the bottom is the divisor. Luego, cuando ya terminen de esto, la última carta que ya sacaron, ese va a ser la que va a ser la división. How do you win? You, it's the first player to get to 100 points is the winner. Hi everyone, thanks for coming to Title One Family Math Night. Hope you had fun, hope the food was good, and hope your kids learned a lot about math and shared with you what they're doing with math. So. Thanks for coming and have a great night.